In this tutorial we will make a simple PCG graph to populate our landscape that we created in Gaia. I will show you how to set up a reusable data table to change biomes with ease. Hi, my name is Mars Fremenis and let's jump into it. So before we are starting we need to import some trees. I'm just gonna use these Norway maple trees. So after we have downloaded our assets, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit and plugins. We're gonna go PCG and we're gonna enable, I usually just enable all of these and just research the project. So once we are back in the project, um, make sure you to click this one that's gonna enable the collision for your water so your player doesn't just uh, go on top of the water. So, and I create PCG folder. So we're gonna need to make a few things to create really nice and simple PCG graph for this case. Again, you can expand it later to make it more complicated, depending on your needs. If really we are focusing kind of on the cinematic background for this one, we don't need anything complicated, just few trees, and, and that's about it. So what we're going to do is, so first we're going to do, we're going to create a few folders. We want to organize things and use a data asset to kind of like make it very convenient to shift assets. Let's say if you want to swap the trees, you want to swap, let's say some river thing. So we're going to create a folder and we're going to call this struct. We're going to keep here structures. We're going to make a right click. We're going to go to blueprint and structure. And we're going to call this mesh in mesh information. Open it up. So the first pin, we're going to make a few pins, three of them. The first pin is going to be called mesh. And we're going to set it to set to static. We're going to set it to the static mesh. And uh, next one, we're going to set up scale. So we can randomize some scale. We're going to set that to float. And the last one's going to be priority. So we can kind of add different kind of trees and set the priority which ones we want. Let's say one type we want more than the other ones. So set up priority and we're just going to set up to the float. And then I'm just going to set up Nor Norway field. This is going to be the default one. We can obviously switch it and just default values to the one and one. What we need to do is we're going to create a new folder again. We're going to call this data. And we're going to create a new blueprint. New blueprint class, all classes. And we can just search for primary data asset we're going to select that one and we're going to call this list of meshes list of meshes we're going to open it up so inside this blueprint we're going to make one variable we're going to call this again list of meshes so we're going to use it as mesh in information meshed information so the structure that we just created we're going to use as a variable. Uh, we're going to change this variable to array and make sure it's a visible. So click that I, compile and save. So in here in the data, we're going to create our first biome information. So let's go to miscellaneous data assets, search for a list of okay. list of meshes, select, and we can just going to say biome we're just going to create a biome information so we have a, so we don't need to all the time create uh, new ones. Now we can just duplicate this one and we're going to call this uh, grass. Let's say just call it grass. Uh, so we can add, let's say add it three different trees. So this one can stay, we're going to say priority to one. So we're going to have three and we let's just change up the, pr the priority, this one to five. So we can have three entries, you can add even more. Let's close it up. And now it's time to create our PCG graph. So we go here, PCG, PCG graph. Uh, we're gonna call this PCG underscore biome, biome generator. Let's open it up. Let's drop it somewhere here so we can see what's happening. After that, we can just extend it to the map size. 
uh, let's put it like 200 by 200 by 100. So kind of like, so it covers a bit river and this, so we can kind of like see if it impacts and works how it should be. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a node now. Get landscape data. Yes, yeah, so we're going to need a layer weight. Make sure this is thick so we can get the layer information. Uh, now we need surface sampler. And I'm just going to change this to the points like 20 by 20 by 20. So if we now debug and we go back, we can see that now we have points all across the volume. And, and again, this is going to be very simple, very easy graph. So we're going to add now attribute. We're going to add attribute filter. First bio, we can filter out this grass. So leave this, we can use this one. We can change this to the float and let's set it up 0, 05. And that's basically what all you're going to do. After that, we're going to create actually add sub. We're going to add a subgraph and we're going to create a new subgraph. We're going to go into PCG. Uh, we can save this graph of, of biome. We're going to call this biome spawner. For this, we're going to have one input. We're going to call this uh, mesh mesh info. And we're going to change this to, I believe, attribute set. Yes. So we're going to change this from the met to the attribute set. We don't need output, really. So this is basically where we're going to pass the information uh, what kind of trees to spawn. So for now, we're just going to leave this empty. Let's finish up this graph. So here, actually, all we need to do is from here, we're going to put get property from object path. And we're going to set up the property name to list of meshes. And here you can actually add hard code or just assign, let's say, um, I'm just going to close these. If you go data, this grass, but if you add a lot of biomes, it's going to be actually hard to manage. So instead of what we're going to do is we can go graph settings here in the parameters, we can add new parameter. Then let's click here. Let's change this to our list of meshes reference let's rename this to grass and assign this to our grass and then what you can do is write grass get grass and assign it so now basically what we did is we are getting landscape data we're making a surface sampler to make sure that we are just surfacing points into the volume then we are applying the filter. The first attribute filter is going to be for the grass. And then so if it's a grass, then we're going to spawn the things that are in a grass data filter. And we can do actually another one. So let's, let's move this one a bit here so we can kind of like, so from the outside filter, so here inside filter comes the points that are for the grass. And for the next one, let's put another one. Let's add something like I don't know, river, for example, or snow, or we can add snow. Let's add river. And for the river, it's going to be exactly the same thing. So we're just going to go to graph settings. We're going to add a new point. Um, we're going to add list of list of meshes. Let's rename this to river. Um, we can add Currently, we're just going to make it empty, going to download some kind of rock, uh, let's say river. We're going to assign, we're just going to download something, but let's say put the river here. Now we can do the same thing. Um, just get this uh, river, get river input, and then we can again duplicate the biome spawner. Uh, we need to get in. 
and this is mesh info. And so basically that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna build this way and the more biomes you have, you can just add this. And so for the now, the, for the spawner itself, it's actually gonna be very simple. So what we're gonna do is first we're gonna uh, put the filter that sorts our trees. Let's say we have these trees by priority. So we're gonna do match and set attributes. Uh, actually, this is incorrect. We need to get in. We're actually gonna switch. So we get rid of this node. We can change this to from spiritual to point. So we can do this. Because we are using here a point anyways. So let's switch this to the end. And then here in the match setting, we're going to click this match weight attribute. We're going to name this priority. <laughs> we can ignore uh, this error because it just says because, because of this. So it's really, it's fine. So now, after that, what we're going to do, we're going to use the, we're going to use transform points. Uh, we can set up something like rotation, the they rotate, and we can change some scale, 0 0.8, and then 1.2. Then we're going to do self porting so to avoid that points are overlapping and trees are way too close to each other. And then we gonna do is we're gonna add a multiply node with a and b from one so a gonna be we're gonna change this to scale so the scale that comes from this scale right from 0 a to 1.2 and for the input tool we're gonna change this to the scale so the parameter we gonna reuse in this. Oh, no, not the river. Let's open up the grass. So this scale. So if it's one, then it's gonna use these values, 0, 8, 1.2. We can change it 1.2, so it's pro so it's gonna multiply these, and let's say gonna make it bigger trees, smaller trees. Um, so you can just add a multiplier to make it more interesting. And after that, we're just gonna need to set static mesh spawner and for static mesh spawner we just gonna change this to uh, pcg mesh select by attribute and we're gonna just change to mesh so the name that we had here to the mesh and save and now we should see the trees are spawning oh they're way too dense change this to like something like 0 0.01 for now because they're very dead. Yes. Let's change this to something like 0 for 0, 1. Um, and here we go. So now, just to make sure that, let's say, we have information here too, we can go quick sell bridge, and I'm just going to download some kind of... I'm just going to, for example, get these nanite. Yes. I'm going to have these flat rocks. So if we go back to the PCG, uh, we're going to go to data, river... We're gonna add one. We're gonna add to rock. Yeah, we can see these rocks. And they're actually very small, so obviously we can change the scale to let's say 10. And here we go. Now we have also the river rocks. And we can see it spawns in the river. And then we have this side, and these trees are spawning the grass. And now what we can do is Let's just clean up for now. Let's put it in the middle. On uh, the scale, probably going to be 1,000. No, 2,000. Yeah, it looks like 3,000 by 3,000. And I don't know what's the highest point. Going to be, I don't know, 1,000. Something like that. And now if we select this and we click generate. And here we go. Our landscape is ready. And again. Again, we can add some here of water. We can, let's say, add a plane. Let's scale it like 1000 by one. And let's put it water. So here we go, we can add some water. I think this looks pretty awesome. So we have this water, water preview material. Oh, 
default on engine. It looks pretty good. And for example, as I said, cool thing about this approach is, let's say we don't want here to spawn trees because we want to set up our cinematic uh, space here and use this as a background. We can really get something like, for example, like rocks. Let's set the brush size. And for example, let's, let's paint here. Uh, let's set the strength to one. So we can really, for example, we don't want here to spawn any trees at all. And here we go. Now, if we regenerate, it looks pretty awesome. And then we can set up our, let's say some, some cinematic space here. We have a river and we have some trees and forest here. And, and that's about it. It's actually pretty easy setup and I hope it's gonna work for your project. And it's actually very pretty easy setup and a lot of things that we actually did in this tutorial are actually really template based and from now on it's just swapping up things are very very easy it's the same like here if we want to set, switch up just any of the assets let's say you want to sw switch from one grass to the other one all you need to do is open up this biome spawner no biome generator open up biome generator put your graph settings and switch up this grass for another grass and it's just going to swap up, swap up the assets and it's just very, very easy to create amazing biomes for your cinematics or for your games. So I hope this tutorial series helped with your project. If it did, don't forget to like it, subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.